An insurance company's monthly claims are modeled by a continuous positive random variable X whose PDF is proportional to one plus X power negative four. Calculate the company's expected monthly claims. So the PDF is proportional to this. It means it's equal to K times this. And the first step is to find K by integrating the PDF to one. So the PDF is non-zero from zero to infinity and K times one plus X to the negative four. So this is a simple power rule, one plus X negative three over negative three. And as before, uh, one plus infinity power negative three is just infinity power negative three, which is one over infinity power three, which is one over infinity, which is zero. So this ends up being K by three on the left side and equals to one, which means K equals to three. So the expected value of uh, the claims, which is just the expected value of the P PDF, uh, which in the claim variable is X. So E of X, this should be a capital X here. So E of X equals the mm, usual expected value formula, integral of X FX. And the FX is non-zero only from zero to infinity. Sometimes they tell us that it's zero otherwise, but if they don't, then it, it, if they say that this is a PDF, then it's understood that it's zero outside the portion that they indicate. So it's only from zero to infinity, k times uh, one plus x to the negative four, and we know the k, so three times one plus x to the negative four, and uh, there's the x for the expected value. So x fx, x times fx. So once you pull out the three, this is a u substitution uh, because otherwise you don't uh, have a way of multiplying x with one plus x to the negative four. So uh, you do u equals one plus x, that means uh, du will be dx, so when x is zero, u is one plus zero, which is one, and when x is infinity, u is one plus infinity, which is infinity. And so it will be three, which is this one, one to infinity, and uh, when you are doing it in u, everything needs to be in u. So this x uh, from this equation will become u minus one, u minus one for the x, and then the one plus x is u. <coughs> so now you see that the advantage is that we can distribute this u to the negative four on this u minus one. So you get u to the negative three minus u to the negative four and uh, this integrates to u negative two over negative two, and this one to u negative three over negative three. And once again, when you encounter these one over infinities, they are zero. And it's just this and this term that are going to contribute, and we have a three multiplied outside. So the result of all this will be one half, which is choice C, 